Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Lindsay, um, the creator behind MyCreativeDays.com. And today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite ways to, some of my favorite tools to apply paint and different um, products to your furniture flips. So um, I get this question a lot. Do you have favorite brushes? How do you apply a top coat? Um, if I'm going to do um, apply stain, should I use something different? I get all those kinds of questions. So today I thought it would be super helpful to kind of go through my favorite brushes, my favorite ways to apply top coats and stains. And um, if you're new here, I have been flipping furniture for more than 20 years. I started um, when we had our first house, when Matt and I first got married, we moved into our first house and I wanted to decorate our home like I had seen on magazines and TV and all of that, but our budget was telling me, no, you're not gonna be able to do that and just go buy all brand new. So I had to get super creative and flipping furniture was the way that I furnished our home on the cheap. So that quickly people, family and friends were seeing what I was doing and then they wanted to like buy pieces or have me do pieces. And so then it became a side hustle. And anyway, it snowballed into this, um, into a lot more than I ever thought it would. But, um, so I've learned a lot over 20 years of doing this. And number one, you definitely need to invest in some good brushes. And when I say invest in some good brushes, I don't mean you have to spend thousands of dollars on brushes. But when we first started, when I first started, I was using whatever leftover wall paint we had from like, you know, painting the living room, uh, whatever le leftover wall paint I had, that's what I was painting furniture with. Uh, furniture paint has come a long way. <laughs> um, and I will save that for a different video. But I was buying the cheapest brushes I could find at our local like Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot. And I was wasting so much time, money and effort with those brushes because um, they were cheaper in the store, but they didn't hold up through my projects and I, they, they would never come clean. Uh, I usually had to buy multiple brushes just to get one project done. So don't go with the cheapest brush ever, ever, ever. That's one mistake that um, I learned quickly I couldn't do. You're not going to save um, the amount of like time and money time and effort you're going to spend with these cheap brushes is going to be so much more than if you just invested in a good brush in the beginning because they don't hold up. And a lot of times, like I said, I was buying multiple brushes because I the, the bristles of the brush were falling apart while I was doing my project. So number one, you wanna invest in some good brushes. And over the years, I have tried every, not every brush, but many in 20 years of doing this. And I have found the paint brushes and, and supplies that work the best, make my project so much easier and go faster. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. I will definitely leave a link to these in the description of this video so you can check them out for yourself. Um, but what I'm going to start out with first are my favorite brushes. Um, zebra paint brushes have thought about the painter when they have made paint brushes. Um, when I first, uh, found these, these paintbrushes, I was like, is this like, I, when I say like, I was like, oh my gosh, it was almost like a, I was just so happy with how the brushes were made, how they cleaned, how they performed when I was doing my projects. I was just so excited to, um, to like have discovered these. So they are definitely um, my favorite brushes, and I just grabbed some of the ones that I use most, use most often on my projects. So I do a lot of hand painting for my furniture flips. Um, it's just, it's easier for me. I can do it, you know, like in the, like right now we're having a snowstorm here in Iowa, so like I could paint a piece in my office if I needed to. You know, if you have a sprayer and stuff, Winters in Iowa don't really, are they're not conducive with the sprayers. So, so I do a lot of hand painting. And so these are the brushes that I grab most often. And there is another brand of brush that I'm going to share here in a minute because that is also a really good brush. But if I had to choose one of these brushes um, that I would use all the time, it would probably be this two inch angled brush. I have smaller hands, and so these smaller brushes, they fit so well in my hand. 
my first one that I ever got from them was their Palm Pro. And so you can see it's a little bit shorter, um, not as long, still angled, still small in my hand. So this was my go-to forever. And then they came out with this two inch angled brush. And this is the one I now more go with uh, when, I'm, when I'm painting. I do all, you know, I do trim work with this. I should say when I first um, um, found these zebra brushes, we were we were right in the middle of our flip houses. We started flipping houses um, on the side as well. And so these came with me to every flip house. I painted all the trim, all the whatever, the cabinets, whatever with these brushes. So they're not just great for furniture flipping. These are my go-to brushes for any kind of painting. Matt loves them too. And so we do a lot of painting and a lot of projects. So. Um, I feel like we know a good brush when we when we see one. So, um, so this is the one I grab most often for my. If I only had one brush to grab, I would grab this one to paint uh, furniture. But they have thought of, like, look at the triangle brush. So this gets into corners really, really well. Um, you know, in some of your furniture pieces, they're more ornate or they've got more nooks and crannies in them. So sometimes I will find. You know, I'm grabbing some more of these these um, specialty brushes. I'm I'm just calling them that, but like that have more. Oh, this is another triangle. Um, I thought I grabbed the round brush. There is a round brush as well that I love to use for curvy legs. I don't know if I'll be able to. Let me see if I've got one here. Yes, I do. Here is the round brush. Um, and so this one, this is great for curvy legs. This is what I grab to do um, any kind of, you know what I mean, the legs that are curvy. This covers it really well. So like I said, they just kind of really thought about the painter and what different needs that painters have. And they're just, they're just amazing. Again, I have um, small hands. So some of the big bulky brushes in your home improvement stores, they were just, they're hard for me to hold. Um, but these, I mean, they're, I, I can maneuver them very well. I can, you know, use them wherever I need to. And I'm not having to, you know, hold them like this <laughs> as some of the bigger brushes are to get my, you know, because this you, you just don't, can't control as well. So these are definitely, definitely um, a go-to, a must-have for me. They are not like horribly expensive. I mean, they're not going to be $1.99 or anything like that, but they clean up well. I have had these for years. Um, and so they will pay for themselves in your first few projects, for sure. Another one that this is a little bit newer to me, maybe a year um, or so, is this um, Klingon brush. And to be completely honest, this one is shaped a lot different than anything, any of these go-tos, you know, that I've had. And I thought, there's gonna, it's kind of thicker, um, not angled. Uh, you, and I just thought, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I do love the smaller handle, again, for my hands. This thing is amazing for for um, painting furniture, though. So what I, what I like to say to people inside my furniture flipping group, and um, I do coach uh, flippers on how to grow a business um, uh, flipping furniture, I tell them that it is so important that we are all different. We are all have different painting styles and Definitely to get your hands on a couple of different brushes and see what works for you. But like I said, I have tried so many brushes over the years and um, these right here are hands down my favorite. If you were a beginner and came to me and said, no, what brushes do I get? And, and you do not, you do not need to get this many starting out. I would definitely get a couple that, um, just a couple to try out and see what kind of works for you and what you love. But um, these are the brushes I highly recommend. Uh, but it is good, just like with any um, furniture paint line or you know anything that's got like um, so many choices. Go through a couple. I have been, I have used so many furniture paint lines over the years as well, like um, different paint brands, and so I've really found my favorites for that. 
Um, like I said, I will do another video for that, but you just have to kind of find what works with you, um, how you work or how you paint or how you are doing your projects. Um, try some different ones and see what works best for you. Another thing I use often are foam brushes and I am done buying dollar store foam brushes, real inexpensive foam brushes. These are not expensive at all. I will leave a link to these in, um, in the description. But foam brushes for me, this one's a, a lot bigger one. Foam brushes for me, uh, they fall apart. If I were to put them like this, I will use this for stain um, sometimes. Uh, but when I put it in the product or whatever I'm doing, and then I brush it on something, a lot of times the foam, if you're getting the real inexpensive one, ones falls apart. Like it literally starts, the foam starts coming off of this piece, um, but not with these. And these come in a, a bunch of different sizes. Um, if I'm using a product that I can, you know, I've done some mod podging with foam brushes and things like that. Um, if I'm using a product that I can clean out of these, these clean really well, you know, a stain or something like that is harder to clean out of these. But um, so then I just reuse them. I clean them, I let them fully dry, and then I will reuse them if I've used like paint or something like that that can be washed out of them. Definitely, hands down, my favorite foam brushes. Will not waste any more money on those real inexpensive foam brushes because they just fall apart literally in like the first application. Um, they do for me anyway, so I will not waste my money on those anymore. Okay, my next two things are not brushes but um, I will only use these instead of brushes for this stuff. So let me open this. Oh, I got it. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do you apply a top coat and not get brush strokes? Um, this is it right here. Here is my $3 solution for you. This sponge will apply a top coat super fast and you will get no brush strokes. I love this thing. I've shared many um, shorts and videos using this thing. Uh, this is the only way I apply a top coat anymore. You can also use this to apply paint, um, but it is my go-to. I always have these in my order. They're $3, um, and this is how I apply a top coat. Super fast, it gets in all the, it gets in all the corners, the crevices, and you have no brush strokes. I mean, it's so smooth. I will never live without these because they, they just make the top coats so good. You can use them for other things, but this is how I apply a top coat without getting any brush strokes, easily, fast, and only $3. Like it's, it's a no-brainer. Then I also use these, um, these uh, pads for staining. Now, um, I love to use a gel stain. I use stain different stains for it depends on the project, but these are amazing for uh, gel stain. I all or stain any stain. I love using these pads. Um, again, very inexpensive. I want to say they're two dollars and fifty cents. Um, another thing I like using these for was uh, when I'm bleaching a um, a piece. Uh, I like to use this two part bleach um, system. And so I use one side for the A, the other side for the B, and it just, again, applies it. I've tried using old brushes. I've tried using other foam brushes. This is what works the best for that, that kind of application. Um, so definitely, I always have these in my order as well. And that's it. That's it. Um, like I said, I definitely, you know, you don't have to have all of these brushes and the different angles on them. Um, if they've been great at flip houses, like I've said, or painting your walls, but for furniture, I would definitely say a round brush, um, the two inch angled brush. You can try the Klingon brush. I, I absolutely love this brush as well. If these were all gone, you know, like if I, I would grab this in a heartbeat uh, for my furniture projects. I, this is a great brush. So these would be my three brushes I would tell you to get. And then these foam brushes are, yes, like get these, get these in your supplies. And then the, the two different sponges, top coat here, 
uh, your stain here. These, they just, they're so easy to use and they are so, um, you know, like I said, they, they're movable. They, they can get in all the areas that you need to get them and they just apply it. No brush strokes and they just apply those things very, very well. I just, I love these things. And for $3 and $2 and 50 cents, I mean, it's just a no brainer. So, um, that's what I would recommend for sure. Make sure and check the description. I will put the links for these in, in the description so you can check them out for yourself, but invest in some good tools because it's just going to make your entire project better and easier and faster. And then in the end, it's they're going to pay for themselves because like, especially these, they're reusable. All of this is reusable depending on what kind of product you're putting on them. Um, if you clean them really well, so you can use them over and over again. Uh, so they definitely will pay for themselves. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions about supplies for flipping furniture, flipping furniture in general. Um, I will uh, make sure to schedule some more videos to help you out with that, but check these brushes out, check these supplies out and get them in your toolbox. And I would love to hear from you um, if you love them and what you loved about them or how you use them uh, after you get them. So have a great day.